Hi, welcome along to the channel, guys. Um, thought I'd do this video just to talk about the Champions League. Big up to Manchester City. What a performance last night against PSG. Um, turning over PSG, beating them by two goals to one and topping the group. And I'll tell you what, I just got thinking about it after watching that game because, you know, a lot of people talking up PSG, you know what I mean? Obviously, Neymar, Messi you know, um, Mbappe, Di Maria, all these superstars all over the pitch. But City were brilliant. And remember, City were missing some of their main guys. You know what I mean? There's no De Bruyne playing in that game. And still, for me, they looked levels above PSG. They looked a much better team. And then when I go to look at the way this week has turned out, Manchester City, They've topped their group in the Champions League. They're going through as group winners. Liverpool beat Porto. They've topped their group. They're through to the next round of the Champions League. Um, Chelsea, impressive performance. Demolish Juventus 4-0 at Stamford Bridge. Top their group. They're through to the next round. Or more, yeah, they're through to the next round. And also... Man United, even as poor as they've been, they've topped their group and they're through to the next round of the Champions League. I looked on it and I said to myself, do you know what's going on here, right? The English clubs are dominating European football now. The English clubs are the best clubs in European competition. And an English club, I feel, again, this season is going to win the Champions League. I can't think of what other clubs are going to stop them. Maybe Bayern Munich. You know, PSG, from what I've seen, I think if they play Chelsea over two legs, I'd put my money on Chelsea. If they played City over two legs, my money would be on City. And if they played um, um, Liverpool, did I say Liverpool or Chelsea? Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, they play any of them over two legs, my money is on them to beat PSG. Bayern Munich... They've got a chance. They're a really, really good team. Lewandowski played great football. But over two legs against any of those three that I've just named. And then who else do you look at and say to yourself, who else can stop any of those English teams? Barcelona ain't going to do it. They're not the, they're not the team they once were. They, they're not going to do nothing in this competition. Real Madrid, they're, they're, they're better than they, they've been. But uh, Real Madrid over two legs, that's what you've got to judge it. Two games, that's what you've got to do. Are Real Madrid going to beat those teams? I can't see it. I can't see it. I don't think they're the powerhouse they once were. It's not going to be Juventus, are they? I mean, look at look what Chelsea did. This is an example. Look what Chelsea did to Juventus. 4-0. I know Juventus beat them in the first game, but 4-0 demolition job. Embarrassing, right? Look what Chelsea, um, you know, they, they destroyed AC Milan... They destroyed um, Atletico Madrid, a Simeone Atletico Madrid. Easily beat those teams. You know, so I'm just looking on it and I'm saying to myself, right now, the English clubs are dominating Europe. You know, some of the best players now are playing in the Premier League. They've got some of the best managers. You know what I mean? Look, Pep Guardiola, Klopp, Conte now is there, Tuchel. You know, Newcastle at the moment, you know, they, they've got loads of money coming in. They'll probably go out and get another, you know, I know they've got Eddie Howe, but probably in the future, another top manager. The, the best managers are here. The best players are starting to come here. You know, I, I just think, you know, with the money that these Premier League teams have got, I can see them dominating Europe for years to come. And it's not going to make UEFA very happy because UEFA, obviously, they want to have a competition where teams from all over... Um, you know, a sort of winning it all over Europe. But it's a bit of a, a Brexit thing right now um, where Brexit is going to run, <laughs> it's going to run the Champions League. I really can not see any team outside of those English teams winning it this season. Even Man United, as bad as they've been, if they get a proper manager in with the players that they've got, Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Greenwood, Martial, these sort of players, they get a decent manager in, even they've got a chance. And, and, and you know, I'm being serious here. 
So I don't know what you guys think about that. It's crazy at the moment. It's crazy. Um, remember, last season we had an all-English final. We had an all-English final in the Champions League. Manchester City versus um, Chelsea. Chelsea came out on top. Um, two seasons before that, we had another all-English final. You know, as a matter of fact, that season we had an all-English Champions League final and Europa League final. I'm telling you, the English clubs, the Premier League clubs are going to dominate this competition, not just this year, but years to come, right? In year, you know, and I, ju I just can't see maybe Bayern Munich, I think, maybe Bayern, Bayern or PSG, one of those two, but on what I saw yesterday against Manchester City, I know, you know, those players at PSG could still step it up, but so can Manchester City. I just think we're going to see again the domination of the English clubs. They've got more money, you know, collectively in the Premier League. Um, and you think about it, a team like PSG, even though they've got all this money and they've got all these superstar players, look what they're playing against every week. I'm not calling it a farmer's league for one minute. It's not a farmer's league. But the standard of that league is not the same as playing in the Premier League. The same goes for the Bundesliga. You know, Bayern Munich will not be playing at the same level as what Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool will be playing at every week, right? Every, you know, even, even the minnows in the Premier League can still give you an absolutely good game because they've got top quality players. So for me, an English club, you're hearing it from me here, me here first, it's probably get clipped, but I don't care. You're hearing it from me here first. An English club is going to win the Premier League. This is going to win the Champions League this season. An English club is going to win the Champions League this season. And English clubs, Premier League clubs, are going to dominate, dominate the Champions League for years to come. And it's going to piss off UEFA. And I don't know what they're going to do about it. And what try maybe try and bring some little restrictions or something to try and, you know. But I don't know what they'll try. But this is the reality of it right now. The Premier League is the dominant league with the dominant teams and the best managers and overall throughout the league, the best players and they are going to dominate. What do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments. Who do you think is going to win the Champions League? If I was to pick a team right now that I think is going to win it, I think this could be City's time. It could be Man City's time. City, City or... Ch for me, the three, City... Chelsea, Liverpool, one of them three for me are going to win the Champions League this year. Um, but who do you think is going to win it? Or do you think, you know, I'm being a bit disrespectful to some of those other teams. You do think that a Real Madrid could win it this year. You do think that PSG will get better and they can win it this year. You do think, you know, Bayern Munich can win it this year. Or maybe you're thinking to yourself, there's a sort of dark horse club out there that is going to come through and surprise everybody and shock everybody and win it this year. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe here to the Don Robbie channel. And don't forget to check out our brand new show each and every Saturday, um, our Saturday uh, football show um, with Abby. Make sure you check that out on Saturday. It's going to be great. But for me, an English club, Premier League club, is going to win the Champions League. Peace. Hey everybody and welcome to our brand new Saturday football show. I think you wouldn't think anyone's oh, better. Honestly, no, mate, he's a glorified Oliver. How, how nah, could I'm you say that, that Saeed? He's actually one thing. That is one thing. Penalty at what for the East What one? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well, bro. It's going to be a long time. Good for down there, whoever's down there. Celtic for me. Manchester United, we demand You're down the there best. with them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not according to Saeed. Oh, he's good. Like, no, he's good. No, and it's, Robbie, stop putting words in my mouth. You take Arsene Wenger. I see Arsenal oh, Wenger in the season. And two it's nil. Two. Oh, two sorry. nil to Watford. Wait, Look me in the camera. This guy makes <laughs> <Chelsea. laughs> Please get this manager out. I am done. Graham Potter is a fantastic manager. Right, you've got to see the positives in this. If you don't want Ollie at the wheel, this is where the wheel's gonna come off. Yeah. There's been a go and it's three one. Oh my god! Honestly, I am having the biggest celebration when this guy's gone, mate. I don't care if he's a legend. Party at Saeed. Oh, oh my god! Could anyone give me a rendition of Ollie's at the wheel? I want to buy Saeed the pints. I want to take him out and... and, and I'm so me. sorry, Saeed, lad. We will leave you on that, guys. Have a great evening, and we will see you the same time next week.